We've already seen that power is the first aggravating factor of a spin and the first item to remove in the pair recovery procedure. Next is A for ailerons. What happens if you don't take the ailerons out of the spin and what do the ailerons do to impact the spin? Before getting in the airplane and looking at the effect of the ailerons on the dynamics of the spin and why it's so important to remove them as an aggravating factor before recovering a spin, let's do a quick review on how the wing works. This is a wing. And here's how the wing works, as a quick reminder. You have the leading edge, you have the trailing edge. If you draw a line from the leading edge to the trailing edge, that's called the cord. The angle of the cord here to the direction or airflow of the air is the angle of attack. Notice this airplane, as it sits on the ground, would have a positive angle of attack of a few degrees. So this airplane would create lift in this direction. Now, as you're flying along, the airflow hits the wing and some air has to travel a little further over the top because of the angle of attack of the wing. So you get a bunch of air moving over the top and a bunch of air moving over the bottom. Now the air has to travel further over the top and it's gonna go faster and reach the back of the wing before the airflow on the bottom. And here's why, Bernoulli's principle. As air moves faster, it creates low pressure at right angles to the flow. And as it moves, over the top of the wing, it's also being curved upwards due to the coanda effect of the airflow following the shape of the wing. So as this air moves up, all this air above it is resistant to moving because it goes all the way up into outer space. So it creates faster flow due to conservation of energy. If the air is being squeezed down because it can't move up infinitely, it has to go faster. The energy of the airflow has to go somewhere. So we've got coanda, we've got Bernoulli, and we've got the airflow being pushed off the back of the wing at an angle downward. Now Newton's third law says for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction. So if the air is moving down, the wing must be moving up and that's how lift is created. So what happens when we move the aileron down? Well, now the trailing edge is here, the leading edge is here, the cord line has changed angle of attack in relation to the airflow. So it's simply by moving the ailerons, we can increase the angle of attack of the wing. And if the airplane's going slow enough or already close to the critical angle of attack, we can make the airplane stall simply by moving the ailerons. But in a spin, when you move the ailerons and increase the angle of attack, you'll increase the lift on one side of the airplane, which will either make the airplane spin faster and flatter or slower and less flat and roll into the turn more. I hope that explains it. Let's step into my office. This spin will be an upright spin, left footed. We're gonna use aileron only to aggravate the spin. First, in spin or increasing the roll with the spin, and then out spin or flattening the roll out of the spin to observe the results. And then of course, a normal pair recovery. Nose comes up, stall, enter the spin with left rudder. It's dipping in phase, nose is oscillating. The spin's now developed. Now, Let's add in spin. We've increased the roll. Now we'll do out spin to flatten it. Our recovery powers off, ailerons neutral, opposite rudder, unload the elevator, and we're recovered. Now that we've explored the aggravating factors of power and aileron on spins and spin recovery, let's look at the upright flat spin again, which is as aggravated as you could possibly make an upright spin. We're adding full power and we're bringing the ailerons all the way to the outspin position to flatten the wings. And we'll talk through. So get the nose to go. Okay, the spin is starting. Gonna add power and outspin aileron. Now we're in a full upright flat spin with the most amount of aggravation, full power, full aileron. So recovery pair, power to idle, ailerons to neutral, opposite rudder, unload the stick and the spin stops as quickly and efficiently as possible. And we'll recover to level flight. What a lovely day. Now that it's crystal clear that spins are a purposeful event caused by pilots, 